Happy Sunday, everyone. Here's a little run through of next week for your sweat classes. So starting off Monday, uh, we did a session like this a couple of weeks ago. 30 on, 30 off. And you're going to rotate machine every single round. So there'll be a lot of chopping change and through it over your row, your bike and your runner. It's 12 rounds total. All right, it is 36 minutes and you're going to score total cals completed. So you're just going to keep adding up your cals, 10, 20, 30, and you keep going through it. Um, I would say, you know, try to have a bit of consistency as you go through each round so you're not going in blind. Whatever you complete in your first run through, you'll try to complete that every way through. And um, we did it a couple of weeks ago. People loved it, very sweaty, and they said it was very sneaky because it just keeps building and building. So it's a very nice session to start your week off right. Uh, Tuesday, uh, another High Rocks one. Uh, this is a half High Rocks simulation. Again, we did this a couple of weeks back. There's a 40 minute time cap on this. It is teams of two. Uh, it is 1.5k run shared, another kilometer row shared, 1.5 again on the run, a 200 meter farmer's carry run, a 100 meter walk and lunge run, and a 100 wall balls to finish. So it's literally the back half of the whole High Rocks session uh, to try to get done in that. Um, and that's all shared whatever way you want. So you and the buddy can just kind of chop and change that as you go through it. So it's a nice one uh, to work through. Wednesday, uh, sweat endurance. We're having one called arms and legs. All right, it's a 50 minute time cap on this. And um, coaches will show you now when you get in, but it is a 400 meter row uh, as normal. And then finishing off to make 500 meters, you're gonna do 100 meter arms only. So you're not allowed to use your legs. You're not allowed to bend at your hip. You're only going to focus on the pull of your upper body. You're gonna rest 30 seconds, you're gonna to move to a skier, do the same concept, the 400 meter ski, and then a 100 meter ski, arms only. 30 seconds of rest, you're gonna go through eight rounds. Now, as you go through the arms only sections, you'll notice your upper body starting to burn a little bit. So as you go through other rounds of rowing and skiing, you might then be like, right, can I not use my arms as much? Can I overemphasize my leg drive, my hip drive on the skier, getting that body weight involvement to crunch down and minimize the use of your arms. So, um, good. Uh, it's a good session in the sense that they'll nearly force good technique on you anyway. And um, it's a good one, so any one, but great one for practice on your skill and your herbs. Thursday, bike club, if anyone hasn't fallen it, moving on to week three, things are getting a little bit harder. Uh, every three minutes times six now, you have that part A is 1,000 meters at that 10 to 15 second faster pace. You're starting to get used to moving those legs that a little bit faster. And um, so there's an extra whole set there. Uh, part B, we're going down in a kilometer, so it's a 10K bike now at damper eight. So that damper eight is gonna be up a little bit from last time. So just starting to build that leg endurance and that leg strength uh, for longer bikes. Friday, moving on, uh, we're gonna have some kind of sprinty kind of intervals to go through. So it's 90 seconds to complete. Uh, so 90 seconds to be three cows, then six cows, nine cows, 12 cows, 18 cows, and 21 cows through all your different machines of your bike your row and your run cows. Um, Saturday, have level two, there'll be no sweats on, so plan your week out as best as you can.